Hi there, I'm Vaidatas and in this video I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a portfolio website using Hostinger's Website Builder. Let's get to it. Having a high-quality portfolio website is important. Not only does it enhance your online presence, but it also shows your credibility. Anyone from any industry can have a digital portfolio to showcase their previous work and build personal branding. Compared to using a third-party platform, owning a portfolio website gives you more freedom in displaying your work. For instance, you can match the web design according to your branding strategy. The good news is, with numerous resources and tools available today, you can easily create a website yourself. To help you get started, I'll guide you through the process starting with setting up a hosting plan. Since we're going to create a portfolio with Hostinger's Website Builder, let's choose this hosting plan. Head to the Hostinger Website Builder page by clicking the link in the description. With this premium web hosting plan, you'll get all the resources needed to power your portfolio website. Click Add to Cart and let's choose the 48-month subscription here. It's a better deal than paying every month and you'll get a free domain name for one year. In case you need more resources as you upgrade the website, Hostinger's hosting plans are easily scalable and give you unlimited access to the Website Builder. All right, let's continue with this checkout. Now, create a Hostinger account. You can use your email to register or use your Google or Facebook account. Choose the one you prefer. Then, complete the necessary steps and scroll down to select a payment method. Don't forget to apply the coupon code HA10 for a 10% discount. Once your payment is confirmed, log into your account and you're good to go. The next step is to create a domain name, which people will use to access your portfolio. On the dashboard of your Hostinger account, click this Claim Domain button. Type your desired domain name into the box and choose an extension from the drop-down menu. If your chosen domain name isn't available, try a new one you'd like or change the extension. In case you need some ideas to come up with a domain name, you can check the availability of any name using our Domain Checker tool. Find the link in the description below. Continue by clicking the Claim Domain button and finish the registration process. Choose your country from the drop-down menu and specify your website's purpose. Hit next step, then fill in your address. Once done, check your email and complete the verification as soon as possible. If not, your site will be inaccessible. Once you see the green check marks next to your domain status and email verification, it's time to move on to the next step. Now, let's create the website. On your hosting your account dashboard, navigate to websites. Click the Create or Migrate a Website option, then Start Now. Select Create a New Website and choose Hostinger Website Builder. Pick the domain you created earlier, then wait for the setup process to finish. With Hostinger Website Builder, there are a lot of designer-made templates to choose from. Each of them is customizable to your preference. A portfolio website should look professional, so choose a clean and clutter-free design. This way, you can build the trust of the potential clients and employers by showing your credibility. At the same time, you'll want to make it unique, but also easily navigatable for your visitors. So start thinking about the must-have pages for your portfolio website. These may include the home page, about page, previous projects, and a contact page. I'll walk you through the creation of each page, but let's start by choosing a template. Hosting your website builder gives the option to develop your website from scratch, but you can make the process even faster using a template. Let's select this noble template. Hover your mouse over it and click Start Building. Once you enter the visual editor, you'll see default website placeholders like these. You can change the global site color by navigating to Website Styles on the left navigational panel and clicking on the Colors tab. From there, you'll see the most to the least frequently used colors in this website template. Click Change next to a color. Select a new shade by sliding this pointer to the exact hue you want or type in the color code here. Then, click Accept to apply the changes to your site's global colors. Next, let's change the default font. So, we'll head to the Text tab. There are several default text styles to choose from. To modify them, click the Edit Text Styles button. You can change the global heading fonts as well as the paragraph text. To change the color, block the text and click the text color icon. To tweak the font of a particular section of the text, block the words, click the drop-down menu and choose the font you like. As for the page layout, just drag and drop any elements to the area you like. To change the spacing, click on the sections container and press the gear icon to find the layout tab. Adjust the height and gap here according to your preference. Next, customize the website's favicon. This will be displayed on the browser tab next to your web page's title. 
By default, it will show a globe. But to make it more attractive, you can change it with your personal logo or initials. Click the gear icon on the builder's bottom left corner, then head to general settings. Under favicon, click add image to upload your logo to the media library. Select it, then hit save changes. If you don't have a logo yet, you can use our free logo maker tool by going to the logo.hostinger.com. It's really simple to use. You'll have the option to either create a fully custom logo from scratch or have an AI generated for you. Next, set an image to illustrate your website content by changing the link preview image. It involves a similar process as changing the favicon. Finally, if you want to personalize your website's cookie banner, you can also edit it here. All right, let's move on to customizing our home page. Start with the navigational menu. By default, there are home, projects, about me, and contacts from the template. We're keeping all these pages, but if you want to delete or rename any of them, go to pages and navigation and click the gear icon to find the options. All web pages you see under main navigation will be the menus displayed on the site's header. Meanwhile, if you drag a page to the hidden from navigation section, it will also disappear from the header. Next, when visitors open your homepage and scroll down, they'll see sections showing previews of the different project pages. You can play around and change any element in this section, like this button that leads to the actual project page. Feel free to tweak the text and images as well. If you prefer having a static or standard homepage, you can delete this section or hide it by adjusting its visibility. To change a section's background, click on the area and choose Change Background. You can pick a different color or upload a hero image. This time, we're keeping the default. Next, change the photos on the page by selecting it, then clicking this Change Image button. Choose Replace Image, Upload Files, then add your photos to the media library. Once uploaded, hit Select. While any image format is accepted, your file size shouldn't exceed 15 megabytes. Also, don't forget to fill in the alt text box. It helps search engines better understand your images for an easier crawling process. You can also delete any images by clicking the trash icon or add more of them by selecting Add Element on the left navigational panel. From here, you can see that there are many other content elements available to decorate your home page. If you want to add videos, you'll first need to upload them to YouTube, Vimeo or Google Drive and make them publicly accessible. Now click the video icon and you'll see a placeholder like this. Select the element, then click Edit Video. You'll see a pop-up tab where you can insert the video link. To display a video from Google Drive, you'll need the iframe code. Here's how to generate it. Go to your Google Drive and make sure to change the video sharing settings to public. Open the video, click the three dotted action menu, and choose open in new window. Then click the three dotted icon again and select embed item. The video's iframe code will appear. Copy and paste it into the website builder, then adjust the video placement to your liking. Moving to the bottom of the section, let's edit this description to match your professional background. Next, there are social media icons to link to your platforms. Select the element, then click Edit Social Icons. Change these links to your own social media pages. If you want to remove one, click the gear icon and choose Delete. You can also add more links to display to your other websites or social media platforms. Play around with how you want to display these icons on the Style and Layout tabs. Now let's tweak the header. Click on the area, then choose Change Logo. Replace the default image with the logo we uploaded earlier. Now that you have the perfect header, don't forget to tweak the website's footer. Edit the text here and change the links on the social icons just like we did previously. Next, let's craft the projects page where you'll display your work. My first step is to diversify your work samples as shown on the template. There are already multiple pages categorizing the work according to the theme. Customize these by going to Pages and Navigation. To change the page's name and create a personalized URL, click the gear icon and choose Rename. If you want to add more categories, just duplicate the page to keep the default formatting so that you only need to tweak the content. The website builder will generate a new page here. We just need to drag it under the Projects category. It will be automatically adjusted as a drop-down option in the navigational menu, so all you need to do is rename the page. If you have fewer categories to show, find the Delete option under Duplicate. The second tip is to make your portfolio simple. Don't use too many descriptions or explanations and just let the quality of your work speak for itself. It's good to add a personal touch when presenting your portfolio, but remember to keep it professional. The last tip is to feature only your best work. Showcase the projects that make you feel the proudest.
There's no need to include every project you've ever done, especially those that no longer meet your standards. This page is where visitors will get to know you better and connect deeper with your work. When creating an About Me page, remember to keep your message short and to the point. To convey professionalism, ensure there are no typos or grammatical errors. There are various ways to create an About Me page, depending on the information you want to show. This template has an ideal composition, displaying a personal description, notable experiences, a summary of expertise, and a call to action leading to the contact page. In the personal description section, you can provide context about your passion for the industry or what truly inspires your work. Add a personal touch, then display your best portrait here. Moving on to the second section, show your experience in the industry. You can use numbers like this to make it easily skimmable. Or you can list achievements, notable projects, or any milestones you want to highlight. Display this section to convince clients and employers that you are someone they should work with. Next, give a little summary of what you can do. Focus on the work you've completed and tell them your area of expertise. If you feel this section isn't necessary, delete it by clicking the trash icon located on the top right of the section. Remember, you are free to customize these elements to fit your portfolio concept. If you need more pages or prefer other layout options, click this Add Section button. You'll see several options to customize. Play around with the text, pictures, or any other element, just like we did earlier. Moving on to the contact page, you'll see a contact form along with an email address and a phone number. Adding a contact form makes it easier for potential clients or employers to reach out. This way, they don't need to open other messaging applications to get in touch with you. You can keep the contact form as it is, or if you have another idea, customize it by clicking this Edit Form button. You can add more fields, change the Call to Action button, edit the Thank You message, and tweak the style. You'll get an email notification whenever you receive a response. To manage all submitted responses, navigate to Website Settings and choose Form Submissions. By clicking View List, you can find all submitted contact forms, export them as a CSV file, and delete them if necessary. Another powerful feature of Hostinger's Website Builder is the Search Engine Optimization or SEO tool. Take advantage of it to get your portfolio ranking high on Search Engine Results pages. That way, people can find you more easily online. Access the tool by expanding the Website Settings tab, then head to SEO. Start by typing your website title and choosing your website language. After that, the Website Builder will prompt you to describe your site. Use relevant keywords and aim for the bar to turn green when writing. Keep in mind that you are not describing the entire website but a specific web page here, which you can check at the top of the pop-up window. Hit Next Step once you're done. Now choose three keywords most relevant to the page, then click Next Step again. Finally, fill in the SEO title and meta description. Hosting or Website Builder gives you a preview of how these will look on the search results page. Now click Finish. You can see under SEO Opportunities that a section of the bar has turned green. Repeat the process for the other web pages and aim to make all descriptions green for the best SEO results. Okay, now that we're done with the portfolio website creation, it's time to make the site live. Let's see the preview first and make sure everything is working fine. Also, check how it displays on desktop and mobile devices by clicking these icons. If everything is in order, hit the Go Live button in the top right corner. By completing this action, you'll automatically activate your hosting account's SSL certificate, which ensures the connection to your website is encrypted and secured. Now, access your website using the domain name and see how it looks. If anything is out of place, immediately adjust it using the Website Builder. Even though your site is now accessible to the public, you can still edit it anytime. Just make sure to click the Update Website button after making any changes. Congratulations on your new portfolio website! Now you just have to maintain it and keep it updated with new projects. Make sure to visit Hostinger Help Center for complete guidance on how to use Hostinger Website Builder. You can find the link in the description below. Leave us a comment if you have any further questions or want to share your experience creating a website using Hostinger's Website Builder. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for more videos about website development, SEO tips, and other tech-related content. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.